Hey guys, welcome to your third content provider video. Today we're going to be doing the query method. I haven't actually typed any of this. But essentially the query method uh, returns a cursor that is using that URI to get the data. So rather than building our own cursor, this actually returns a standard cursor for that table. So it takes in the URI and then that URI is matched, processed and returns a cursor to a certain table. Which is fair enough. So what we're going to say is we're going to uh, put in our, you know, we're going to have to uh, build. The first thing we need to do is we need to build a squad like query builder. Squall Q U U R I builder. And we're just going to call this SQ or S S B new squall. Good thing is there's no constructor on this damn thing. I like that. And that's that. So we've created our squad like query builder. So the next step is to do our URI matcher. So we're just going to copy and paste this code up here because there's no need to be making life harder. Uh, we don't have a values this time. So what we're doing now is we need to set up our tables. So we're going to say SB dot set tables. Tables and it's going to be our DB helper dot table name. So essentially, is if it matches the URI, that's up that there. That's how the the returns one. You know, we're going to return our uh, uh, query builder. Then we're going to get our readable database. So we're going to say DB equals DB helper dot get readable database. So now we've got our database and we're ready to go. We're ready to start querying. So we're going to say cursor, cursor equals db dot query. That's the wrong one. This is a very confusing thing because there's so many db dot query methods. We're going to copy the one that we have here. I actually need to check on something about that query builder, but I'll get back to you on that, okay? Okay, so the squad like query builder is actually for building up a query. We don't actually need it at all. So we're actually going to get rid of this, okay? We can make some modifications to this. Um, I, I used the squad like query builder before, but I can't remember what I'm doing. So we're just going to create our cursor variable like so. And we're going to put pull this into here. Nice. Okay. So our string projection is actually our this thing here is our columns. So essentially, what's happened is this, uh, and then we return our cursor. I'll just do this cursor. So it returns a cursor value. Ah yes. Hello, we'll just get rid of this URI matcher. There's, there's only one database table. I've shown you how it works anyway, so you can use it in our future references. So that's that. I'm making a tit on myself again. So this is our standard query for a database. So what's happened is the URI is passed in and these arguments are passed along with it. So sort order, selection arguments, selection, projection. So the projection are the columns, the selection is where something is something. It's the same thing. Sort order would be you know, order by limit, limit uh, ascending, descending, blah, blah, blah. So we created our cursor and we returned it. And that needs to be the other way around. Can't query a database before it's done. And that's that. And then the last thing we need to do is we just need to set this uh, up here. So cursor dot Set notification URI, content resolver C or URI. I believe we put in null for that one. Oh no, 
get context, get content with Oliver. So the context is what you know. What context has I called the con or called the URI or called the uh, provider? And then we had the resolver is what was being used. But we'll explain that in a little bit more detail later. But as you can see, set notification URI, get context, get constant revolver URI. So that uh, tells us that you know query has been performed. Okay, so that's our query method done. Now we could use the get type method is a bit confusing, and the get um, the delete method is for deleting things and update is for updating so we can actually uh, go through those but we're not going to at the moment you can work those out on your own it's basically more database operation to put in here that's pretty much it so now that we've created our content provider we're actually going to uh, modify our activities to handle it now I've already done these modifications and I'll go through them in the next video